Three, two, one, go. Greedy! That was perfect. That was perfect. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode two of Croup Scoop. Uh, today, I'm joined by my co host, Jeffrey, also known as Blinky Please. Hello. And Hayne, also known as oh, Super Mario. Look at me. I'm a Super Mario. I like spaghetti. I jump on the Goomba. Yeah, that's me. Hi. And I'm your host, <laughs> Croup. Uh, so we are back <laughs> today. We got a, we got a couple things to talk about today, but before we dive in, I think I should probably talk about the weekly, our weekly balls news that we have. And uh, recently, Halo Infinite dropped. Did you guys know about that? It dropped yesterday. I, I did not know. I actually. didn't hear about that. Yeah, like in the is it in the like pack or whatever with the other Halo games? Yeah. It, well, no. It's they just dropped it on Game Pass, the multiplayer for free oh. and i think that it's on pc yeah it's on it's on pc but you have to get game pass i think i'm pretty sure well no well i just i just know that the multiplayer is gonna be free i don't know if you have to play it on game pass i'm not too sure how that's gonna work but <coughs> uh they they i tried it yesterday and they have a game mode called oddball i just wanted to take a moment to appreciate how 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 much they really put focus on the ball part of of oddball cuz the the announcer the he really goes hard on 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 the ball he'll say things like he he'll say things like ball incoming oh the the enemy team has the ball we have the ball ball dropped you know <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> i wonder if they have griff ball yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Is it's a Griff different ball. It's a different ball one. It's like this. It's kind of like the one in Splitgate where you have to you have to uh, ooh grab the ball. That's and, a good one. Well, this was in previous Halo games, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, oddball, dude. The ball game in Splitgate. I'm a demon. It's yeah. It's basically the same thing. You can basically you're pretty OP with the ball if you're close. Like if you're close, there you're fucked. You're just gonna get killed by the ball, no matter what. If you're just if you're right up to them, you're just gonna get fucking destroyed. But if someone's like kind of far away from you, they can just shoot you. Because you can't. I don't think you can. You can't sprint with the ball because Halo Infinite has sprinting in it, and you can only walk with the ball. But you know, once you get up to someone's face with the ball, you can be pretty, pretty nasty. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Oh no. We were waiting. We were waiting for that. I mean, not, you don't need to burp every episode. This isn't a bit that needs to happen. Nope. It, it's happening. Yep. I already well, called it. <laughs> oh, our listeners are going to be repulsed. You hear that, listeners? Every single episode, Hayne is going to burp. <laughs> yeah. At least yeah. once. No. Okay. And I'm going to shit my pants at least once an episode as well. But we don't talk about that part. We don't talk about that one publicly. Wait, you, you shit your pants? Yeah, we're not. We're, we don't talk about that publicly. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so what? Do, right, one of the first topics. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, the YouTube dislikes. What do you guys think about that? YouTube removing dislikes. Some stupid shit. Yeah, like, I think it's dumb. It's, I think it can prevent bullying no, no who cares that's the no, main sucks that's the main reason why they removed it right because they want to yeah. prevent harassment on yeah, like, certain like i, I mean just yeah, comment like, you suck instead yeah of dislike it yeah remove the comment section then see like yeah. it doesn't do anything the dislikes are used more than just to dislike bomb someone yeah it, it like because it's it really informs like the you as a viewer like whether the video is good or not. Like you're not gonna click on some like video essay video, and see if there's like a bunch of dislikes and actually watch the video. You're just gonna click out, or like, you see a trailer yeah. for a movie, you see all the dislikes. It's like, oh, this might not be. This trailer probably sucks. Yeah, like I'm gonna if I go to Clifford's trailer and I don't <laughs> see all the dislikes, like how the fuck am I gonna know that Clifford's a bad movie? Or like, or like, you know, when you're trying to figure out something and you're looking up a tutorial on YouTube, how the fuck are you supposed to know if the tutorial is like legit or not without the dislikes? Yeah, that's true. Exactly. You're actually going to be fucked. 
Or like if you're free, if you like look up how to get, like get Minecraft for free, like yeah. how you're supposed to know if that works or not. Yeah. Or yeah. Also, without dislikes, some people would probably get scammed because they're not gonna know whether or not the thing that's going on in the video is true. Like GT free GTA Six or whatever, or yeah. like or like uh, vloggers with like crypto or something. Some shit yeah. like that. It, it's like, just like. The only thing I feel like it would have been good for removing dislikes is like it probably would have saved Rebecca Black some mental strife. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And the Kakato, like, if you're getting like bullied, just like they have the option to like remove, yeah, the dislikes from yourself. You don't yeah. have to remove it for everybody. You can do that. You can. Well, well you can that's what they, the like that's what they. That's what they should. That's what they should do. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, just only like show really likes good. but not dislikes, some something like that. I don't see why yeah. they can't. Cause you can turn off comments. Why can't you? Yeah, they should just have it be like that. That's a good idea. Yeah, why can't you turn off dislikes? It doesn't make any sense. And like, I feel like people that, I mean, the it's not really YouTube's fault either. Like you're putting yourself out there on the internet for everyone to see. So like. You know, yeah. you gotta be wary about that. You know, if someone freaking shits on you, you gotta, yeah, you know, I mean, guess just suck it up. Yeah, yeah, it's your fault. Yeah, suck it up, Nick Akato. Stop getting fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is <laughs> is like YouTube under like some like legal like charges? And that's the only other reason why I could like think of it. Like someone sued him or something because they got like dislikes and uh, got the press or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's probably it because they I, they haven't touched it in in a long time because that's always been a thing disliking just major disliking on videos yeah. like and even even youtube's have, videos even youtube's own videos yeah and they still have comments and you can still thumbs well, up comments they used to have uh dislikes for comments or like they would count them or something i don't oh, know if yeah. you guys remember that oh shit they did yeah and they removed like that. now it's just like you can't yeah. see it anymore i wish they kept that yeah I would have loved to see like the the most disliked comment, and it's like yeah, something dumb. Sort by most disliked. It's fun. Some fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. let the idiots fall into obscurity. I want to see what they say. I want to feel smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's. I mean, I was looking at this article today, and apparently they went back. They reverted their plans. I'm not sure if that's true, because I've only found one article about it and nothing else, so I'm not sure if it's true. But if it is true, then good on them. It's one of those things where YouTube, whenever they do something bad and people don't like it, they always revert back because they like to kiss ass. They're like, oh, no, we're sorry. Uh, here, we'll bring it back, or we're going to change it. We're going to change it back. Please, just, just please don't be mad at us. Please. I I did see an article that the like founder of YouTube said, "Damn, that shit's stupid. Why would you remove the dislike button?" Yeah. But also yeah. like he can't do anything about it. So he just like changed the description of me at the zoo and was like, "Cringe." Or whatever it actually. Wait, he said. he changed the description of me at the zoo. Yeah. He changed what? it in protest. What is it what does it say? I th uh paraphrasing, it says like if all YouTubers agree that removing the dislike <laughs> button is stupid, it's stupid. Anyways, so that was dumb. Another thing that happened on YouTube is the Spider-Man trailer dropped. What did you guys think about that? Oh, yeah. I think it will be a good movie. Me too. I'm honestly, I think it looks badass. I think it just, yeah, it looks it cool. just looks like a fun time. There were a lot of villains. Yeah, there's a Yeah, they basically just showed them. Like the Doc Doc Ock from uh Spider Man two. Uh who else was there? Green Goblin from the first Spider Man. And then there was Electro from Amazing Spider Man two, Jamie Foxx. Uh. But he's not blue anymore. He's yellow now. He looks way better, to be honest. Yeah. You've seen that movie, right? Amazing Spider-Man yeah. 2. Have you seen I it, Jeffrey? The, the music. I have not. That movie is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the Wait, fight. Which, which Spider-Man is it? It's the one with Andrew like Garfield. Actor? Oh, yeah. I have not seen that one. 
Yeah, Jamie Foxx is Electro, the main antagonist. <laughs> I I remember in that movie the the final fight with Spider Man and Electro. He like Electro launches Spider Man and like to into these like electric towers or something, and like it started playing dubstep. I remember that. <laughs> Do you remember that? Wait, that's awesome. I remember like, that because that was during my dubstep phase, and I was like, "Whoa!" Like he dubstep. launched him, and then he was like flying to all the different towers. It was like, <laughs> "Wait, I'm in." Wait, I hope they do that again. That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah. Everyone would stand up and cheer. Like, Woohoo! The dubstep electric scene again. Yeah, that's usually what happens when you go see a Marvel movie. You're gonna get some. Uh, people's cheering yeah i'm still dude i'm still pieced the fuck out of marvel they're yeah. trying to suck me back in i feel it dude they're like mm, uh, look the dopamine you can get look there's new new old bad guys Ooh, dimensional portals and i'm just like no resist i must resist the urge to just, come crawling back to marvel i feel like no matter what i'm always gonna be excited <laughs> Like I'm always gonna get sucked back in and watch a new Marvel movie. The new Spider Man, oh, I'm ex- right. I'm actually excited for because I actually like Spider Man. I like all the villains and I like Tom Holland. I like Tommy McGuire. I like Andrew Garfield, regardless if his movies suck. Um, I feel like this one's gonna like set up like a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I feel like because it it seems like it's gonna it. be really good and then set up a bunch of shit and I'm gonna be like, oh, well, I already watched Spider Man. Gotta watch the next one. Yeah. Although I'm close to breaking it though, because this movie looks really cool. Well, we gotta see it. You gotta see it. Come on, you gotta see oh, it. Oh, I mean, if you insist. I mean, <laughs> and then at the end of the trailer, Doctor Strange, he goes, "Oh, the the, the multiverse, they're, they're they're it's collapsing. They're coming." Like, what do you think he means by that? What else is coming? You know, is that gonna be the cliffhanger where like the multiverse just falls apart and just shit goes crazy or something? I want, bring back I want that. I want shit to Man. just go crazy. Want, Dude, what if they bring back Iron? <laughs> I just I want, want the. What, what if if they bring back who? Iron Man, dude. Iron Man. Yeah, bring him back. It's not impossible. Give him the billion dollars. He's like dead. A, that I, shit would suck Wiener to me. He died. Because like I think I think he's, with he's Thanos, super died. I think with Thanos, I don't think he can come back because he was snapped out of existence entirely. So I think I don't think it's a pos- it's possible for him to exist in other multiverses. I hope he doesn't come back either, because like I think I yeah, know. they don't want them to ruin him. Then Endgame Dude. would just be like whatever, pointless. Yeah, I-, I saw a fucking clip of like Joe Rogan. And Joe Rogan was like, dude, are you ever going to be... And Robert Downey Jr. was on the show. And he was like, dude, are you ever going to like go back to the Marvel Universe? Like, I'm imagining it. The audience would love it, dude. You like step back into frame and you're like, yeah. hey, I'm back. Dude, it's like, no. And then Robert Downey Jr. was just like, obviously, like, just thinking, shut the fuck up. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> Joe Rogan's asking him to like, <laughs> if, he, if he'd want to do another 10 years. Like, come on. He doesn't want to end up like you, Joe Rogan. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Mister doing the same thing. Thousand three hundred seventy podcasts. Yeah, how long has Joe Rogan actually been going on the podcast? That has been, been going on really for a long time. fucking long time. Yeah, yeah. He should retire. He should let some some other podcasts take the spotlight. Yeah, dude. And he that, should let us take the spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do a great job in his shoes. Yeah, he'll like we'll do a boot camp and it'll just like throw DMT in our faces and we have to do push ups and shit. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll interview Jake Gyllenhaal and he'll get pissed off. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to like <laughs> we have to find a celebrity to piss off and like talk to right wingers every day. How how would how would how would we piss off Jake Gyllenhaal? Like, what's a what's like a performance that he's probably embarrassed about? Do you think? I don't even know. You think Oakjaw? Why well, I, I kind of liked him in that. <laughs> I kind of liked him in Oakjaw. Uh, I don't think he's embarrassed of that, but I did not like his performance in Oakjaw. I thought I thought it was funny. This shit was so. Dumb. It's so different. He's he he doesn't usually have, act in a character like that. Yeah, he he doesn't usually go that crazy, and I guess I respect that. But like, it was he was certainly the stupidest character in that movie. Yeah, it was kind. Of, it kind of seemed like a Nicolas Cage role. Yeah, that's. I was literally just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. He was wild. That movie's wild too. I actually like that movie. 
Yeah. Speaking of movies. Woohoo! Nice. Nice, nice segue. Good nice. We're going to talk about our favorite movies and our least favorite movies. Um, so I'll, I'll start. My top three favorite movies are... Let me... I wrote them down. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I guess my third favorite would probably be Whiplash. Uh, I love Whiplash. I've seen Whiplash like five or six times, maybe. I think it's, I think it's a great movie. I think Fletcher is a really interesting antagonist, and I just love the the way the movie ends. the The last scene's phenomenal. Have you guys seen Whiplash? You know, as a music guy. I have not seen Whiplash, and Dude, I really want to see it. As a music guy, yeah, aren't you kind of a music guy too? And you haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. what's up with that? Maybe, that. maybe, <laughs> maybe us two music guys should watch it. Yeah, and together. I'm, I'm not a music guy at all. And yeah, I watched what's up with it. That? I don't know. I, all I remember is I heard it was good, and I watched it, and then I thought it was great, and then I showed it to Steven because Fletcher likes to curse a lot in that movie, and just like. <laughs> He's got some really quotable things he says in that movie, and Steven, Steven loves it. He laughed so hard. I haven't seen him laugh that hard since uh, Full Metal Jacket. He laughed so hard at that, too. <laughs> he only <laughs> the likes beginning. Like people yelling at people. Yeah. He loves the sergeant. He doesn't like the rest of the movie. I don't either. <laughs> After the boot camp in Full Metal Jacket, I don't like it. I don't know what happens. I think we like stopped watching it when we were watching together. I think I ended up watching the full movie, and I still didn't really like the other half. Like, the boot camp's probably the best part of the movie, in my opinion. What about you guys? What's your number one? Or, th- three. Third. I said my third, so what's your third? You I don't have them in order. Oh. Pussy. Well, you don't have to go in order there either. Nope. I also don't have three movies. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I can't I can't decide. I don't want to like say some of them because they're just stupid. Well, my third favorite movie is probably Baby Driver. Ooh. You no, know, that is kind I feel kind of basic saying it, but as a music guy, that movie <laughs> fucks. It's so awesome every second. If only the story were a little bit better and not just like he liked the girl, he end up with the girl, then it would probably be a better movie. But Cargo fast music sync up make brain make good chemical. Damn. Yeah. Man I like that movie. Yeah. Didn't didn't I say the other day that I thought it was a little overhyped? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you shit on it. I was like, ow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I'm not like the biggest Edgar Wright guy, I feel like. I'm not like a huge Edgar Wright guy. I didn't really enjoy um. What was that one with the cops? Hot Fuzz? Yeah, I didn't like it that much. Like, I appreciate the twist, but I think I went in expecting, like, Baby Driver or Scott Pilgrim-esque. I guess more Scott Pilgrim-esque shit. And it was more just, like, it was way different, I guess. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think Baby Driver is probably my favorite of his. But I also really like Shaun of the Dead and Scott Pilgrim. I love Scott, but Pilgrim. I'm not it's like just, it can't be my favorite movie. It can't even be. Yeah, up, but it's a good movie. Yeah, I I love them. I'm just like not like obsessed about them. I guess like some of these other yeah. movies I love. <laughs> but he's a good director. All right, hand pick a movie. Okay, okay. So we're talking about favorite movies, and what I put at the top of my list are like really nostalgic things. So. A lot of my movies, my favorite movies are like kind of like, I don't know, kids shows, I guess, or kid movies, which is kind of lame. But um, so I'm going to say The Iron Giant. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> is my oh, third yeah, favorite. It's pretty awesome. You know what? That's that's probably in my top 10. Yeah. I like that movie, too. Not in my top three, but. Yeah, no, I, I really, I don't know. That movie is just like. I don't know. I like. I always like things with like robots. When I was a kid, yeah. And I always wanted like like a giant robot friend because of that movie. And I really liked 
I don't know. I don't remember that movie that much because I like I I watched it so much as a kid, but I haven't seen it in like years. I think I really like when he like kind of freaks out like towards yeah. the end and then like like kills people. Or so, something. I don't know. Superman. Oh yeah, that ending made me so sad every time as a kid. It has really good animation too. I I, yeah. I miss two D animation. It just mm-hmm. I I just think it looks way more aesthetically pleasing. I'm tired. Yeah. The, when was the last two D like animated like uh, movie? Wasn't it like some some really stupid like I don't know like a My Little Pony movie? What? <laughs> oh yeah, it might have been. I think like I think I heard about I don't know but like now <laughs> because of, there might have been like another one but like I, I literally heard like the last like. 2D animated movie that came out in like theaters was like um, the My Little Pony movie. I don't even know. That might not be true anymore. I don't know who said that. I think like Yoshi said that. You know, so. Disney's Disney's last animated or 2D animated movie was Princess and the Frog. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. And when did that come out? What year? 2009. So it's been more than 10 Jesus. years. They haven't released a feature film in 2D in more than 10 years. Now it's all 3D. I don't know if That's they'll crazy. ever go back. Yeah, I guess it's just because it's not conventional at all. 3D is I mean, just so yeah, much it's easier. It's just harder to make. Yeah. Yeah. But then it kind of just takes the passion out. Like these these new Disney movies are just, they don't feel the same. They're good. No. Some of them are good, but they're just like, they don't have the same like feel, you know? Like I like yeah. Moana. I think Moana's fine. But Moana doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't give me that same Disney feel that you get from, like, Lion King or Beauty and the Beast and stuff like that. Yeah, it just doesn't feel as magical. and oh. Like, there's as much meaning. Like, kids are just watching the fucking Croods these days. Yeah. Playing Fortnite. <laughs> I also hate when Disney tries to be self-aware. They're like, oh, look at me, I have a princess sidekick or, like, all this other stuff. Like, God, shut up. You're, you're literally poking fun at your cliches, and yet you're doing the cliche. Like, you still put a, uh, uh, an animal sidekick in a princess movie and sold it on, with toys and everything. Yeah. It's like, it's genius in a way. <laughs> did they Did they still do princess? Is every, like, movie nowadays still, like, princess from Disney? Is Wait, what, what did you it's say? Like, isn't, like, Moana, like... I know, like, Moana's, wasn't she she's like not a princess, princess, kind of? Uh, she's kind of a princess. She's, but, like, they, she's don't, like they don't dress it up the same. She's considered yeah, part of the princess, um, the Disney princess, princesses, but she's not, like, technically one, I don't think. She doesn't, like, she's not technically one by, like, a Disney standard where, like, they get with, like, some dude at the end. Yeah. Okay. Also, like, I, I think of awesome. those as, like, classic princesses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your number two, Ethan? Uh, my number two. This is hard. I have to pick between two of like my favorite movies, like ever. <sighs> yeah, I'm I gonna, mean, I think I'll just have to say how you're feeling right now. All right, so my number two is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. I actually don't like that movie. Oh, the <laughs> seventies one. I actually actively dislike that movie. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll explain myself. So explain yeah, yourself. Texas Chainsaw Massacre from nineteen seventy four. Toby Hooper. I love this movie because well, I saw it as a kid, and it was one of the few horror movies that actually scared me. Like, cause you know, you you watch like a ghost movie or like some slasher movies. Like, oh, this shit's not. This is not gonna be real. This. I'm not. I'm not scared of something that's not like real. You know. But, like, the thing with Texas Chainsaw, I, like, the way Texas Chainsaw looks when you watch it, it's, it's filmed on 16mm, and they the way they make it just looks, uh, I think, quote like, the direct quote from Toby Hooper is that he tried to make it look documentary-esque. Um, it just looks so, like, raw, and the music's really good, everything's so subtle. They Also, they don't rely on gore, which is good, because usually that's, like, kind of a cheap way to uh make a movie scary so if you rely on gore or jump scares that's i hate that shit i mean i like gore it could be funny like if you watch evil dead but like jump scares if you just like you know you watch like insidious or conjuring that that's all they have just jump scares and that's what makes it scary 
It's like some scary ghost thing popping out. Or like someone grabbing your shoulder. And it's like, oh, yo, oh, oh, gosh, you scared me. <laughs> that shit, I hate that shit. <laughs> or like a teapot. Like, you know, like, just yeah. in the next frame. But this movie, it's kind of just like, shit just happens. And like, it's just like, whoa, okay, whoa, that just happened. Um, and they don't, they, they kind of leave the, the kills to your imagination. Because they don't fully show you what is going on. Like, there's, like, this... So, there's, like, there's a scene where this dude... This dead guy is on the table. And he's sawing the guy with a chainsaw. But they don't show you what, what, what uh, what's happening there. They don't show you him actually, like, uh, sawing all his, like, limbs off and stuff. They leave your imagination to that. And I think that's... That can be more effective. And... Yeah... I, th- I think the reason why it's scary is because it's not that it's not that far fetched to to think that someone could go that crazy and kill a bunch of people with a chainsaw. It's there's nothing supernatural about it. It's just people, crazy people, and that's why I think it's uh, one of the scariest movies ever. Yeah, I think hmm. it's stupid. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Active, I do actively dislike the movie, but I will say, like, you've got some points. And, like, it's, I'm just not much of a horror guy myself. And I watched it as an adult. So I'm like, yeah, this shit's not that scary. She's just, like, running through a thing. And they were all, like, all the, all the main characters are dipshits. <laughs> oh, yeah. The main, so, like, this the could happen, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'll agree with you on that. The main characters are bad. They're yeah. not interesting. Um, it's kind of like real life. Most people aren't really interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, really, the I will say though, there's one part that still is legitimately scary, and it's like when there's that, like, I think it's like the girls going to the house or whatever because her boyfriend's missing. Oh and yeah, then, yeah. Like he like like just the chainsaw guy like shutting the fucking door there or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That shit is fucking scary because it comes it's just, out like, of looks so ha- horrible. It comes out of nowhere. He because th- I don't remember what I think they were. They needed help with uh, gas or something. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> uh, so he like goes into that house trying to get help. You know, it looks like a normal house on the when you go inside. From the outside, it looks normal. It's actually pretty nice, a pretty nice house. But you go inside, dude goes inside. He's like, hello, and I guess he trips. And then as soon as he gets closer to this metal door, and, and then all of a sudden, just randomly, Leatherface pops out of the door and just like kills him comes out of nowhere and it's in the middle of broad daylight too which is crazy too i like that that most of the scare the scary stuff happens in broad daylight instead of at night because it kind of shows that things like horrible things can happen even during the daylight which is which because like most people feel safe during the day but at night it's like oh this is when the scary stuff is supposed to happen but in texas chainsaw like two people two people get killed during the day in texas chainsaw so you know what i got a little more respect for that movie i still yeah. don't like it that much though um <laughs> um i've never I, seen it well yeah yeah you're on i don't think kane would like it <laughs> i don't think he'd like it i think i don't know I i'm kind of a horror of it, guy i'm kind of a horror yeah. guy i think so. part of it comes down to watching it as a kid as well i feel like that's when horror movies hit the hardest because when you're an oh, adult yeah. you're just like oh yeah they're there's just a crew of people sitting behind a camera like, ooh, can yeah. you, like, fuck with the gore a little more? That's what I think about a lot when I'm watching horror. I don't really, like, find it creepy. It's just, like, I don't know. Yeah, it'll take, it takes, like, a really good horror movie to, to yeah. like, get me even a little spooked. Yeah, and that movie fucked me up when I was a kid. Because <laughs> I thought, like, because they marketed it as a true story. And this, for, a long, for the longest time, I thought it was true. Like, this actually happened. But it didn't. Oh. Uh-huh. But the thing I can is, see how that's like really scary. But you know what makes it you know what makes it scarier? This isn't even that bad compared to actual crimes that have happened. Like he only killed four people in the movie. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. You know how many people he killed? A lot. Like more than ten. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure how much. Dang. <laughs> more than yeah. ten. And he and he ate them. He ate people. Oh. Like a cannibal. Yeah, he did eat people. Yeah, he's actually really gross. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. A shame to share a name with that guy. His apartment when they when they <laughs> when they infiltrated it was a was literally a horror movie. Body parts, barrels full of bodies, parts, and you know, but yeah, 
before I say my second movie, I'd like to say that all my all the name twins that I have suck. Well, there's Jeffrey Dahmer, Jeffrey the puppet guy or whatever. <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos, Jeff the Killer, Jeffrey Katzenberg, Jeffrey Jeff Epstein. the Killer, Jeffrey Epstein. Come on, man. True. Why are, why are all the Jeffreys either Jeffrey criminals Hacker. or s- puppet? <laughs> Jeffrey <people>? Hacker. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you leave a Did you leave a, a, a listener question to under understood recently? Oh, I get. <laughs> I forgot about that shit. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. There's probably <laughs> one good name twin out there, and it's whoever listens to Under Understood and put in a viewer question on the one episode that I watched. Yep. Anyways, my second favorite movie <laughs> is. Uh, I guess I'll go with. What do I go with? I guess. I will go with. A movie called The Night is Short, Walk On Girl. It's an right. anime movie. And it's like ah, not it's anime. super well. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. You've seen more, oh, than, you've actually this. Seen more anime than me. Wait, I've it heard is, of this. I love this movie. It is just so like balls to the walls insane with the shit that it does. But like every story beat is like somehow interconnected. It just like delivers so much to you. And you're like going along on this stupid ass adventure and then it ends and you're like whoa that was awesome dude uh this looks like it's right up my alley looking at the pictures of it what was it I called love this movie. uh it's the- called the night is short walk on girl <laughs> there's just like there's just the characters are so fucking goofy and it's just like it's insane is this animated by the same person who animated kaiba no that one oh. what's that one show called to Tommy Galaxy? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <coughs> well, I'll have to check it out. Crazy. Yeah, there's like a character in it who won't wash his underpants until he finds the girl that he loves. And there's other characters that are just that stupid or just as stupid. It's silly. It's a great movie. I love it. What is your second favorite Tain? Kaiser Mario, Super Mario, <laughs> jumping on Goombas, eating um, spaghetti and pizza, getting coins. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. That's <laughs> <laughs> the Mario guy. Hey, it's the Mario guy. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, I'm gonna go with. Um, I think I'm gonna. Hope this isn't in your list, Ethan. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, I didn't put it on my list because I knew it was going to be on yours. Yeah, so sorry. I'm, I'm taking that one. Um, Yeah, I like that movie. It's a great um, movie. It's in my top five. That's yeah. Is this some people, Blade? And some people are like, oh, what, what about the original? Fuck you. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know. The, the original is like... The original is good, too. Seen, yeah, it's good, but like, it's not like... A movie I've seen in like when I was like a kid, so like it's not like nostalgic or <coughs> or anything. I don't know. Like the the new one, I really like the director. Um, I like the world building. I like the story. Um, I don't know. It looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's the most. It's I the think best like, looking movie I've ever seen. I feel like it's like I don't think I've ever like walked out of a theater like I felt so like different. I don't know. I I was so immersed in the movie. Just like walking out of the theater was like so. I don't know. I just felt like off. I guess I've never like felt like that before, like yeah. walking out of a theater before. And it just like blows my mind that some people just like don't like this movie, or like get bored while watching it. I mean, it is a little like it's long and it's kind of slow, but like yeah. I don't know. It's so like immersive and I don't know it. it it's just like it's so like interesting and it's like interesting enough for me to like rewatch it because like the story isn't like s- like incredibly straightforward but how many times have you rewatched it i think i've like watched it i don't know like three or four times i'm planning on rewatching it soon i've watched it like five times i think damn <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i love it too it's a I just, I just love it's, how it's just long, so it's like kind of hard to rewatch sometimes. Yeah, well, I used to fall asleep to it as well. 
It was, that's a great movie to fall asleep. <laughs> like, not like in a bad way. Like, just like the sound of Blade Runner, like the synth and like. Yeah. It's just like uh, feels the otherworldly. So good too. Yeah. I hear, I hear one of the songs on like TikTok a lot, which is kind of annoying. Tears and rain. The 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 end the part in the or the the very last song in the end there or i don't know don't spoil it <laughs> have you oh, seen the original i'm not Blade gonna Runner? spoil it no jeffrey oh. hasn't seen it i was gonna talk about the Anything. how the original Blade Runner because it also has this it has some good shit in the original one too yeah i feel like um, if i would have watched the original like a long time ago then i would have like more i'd definitely like it but like I've only seen the original a couple times. Do you care about the the original, Jeffrey? I just wanted to talk about the ending real quick. Yeah, run it. I don't you'll care probably, you'll much. probably, yeah, you'll probably forget. Uh, so in the the end of the original Blade Runner, there's a scene that just like it's just just one of the best scenes I've ever seen, which is well, not like best scene, but like best monologues I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah, which is when the the main antagonist instead of killing. Uh, Harrison Ford's character Decker he instead of killing him he decides because replicants in that movie I think it's like after six years they automatically shut down or something I think uh, mm-hmm. if that's what I'm remembering correctly so like instead of killing Harrison Ford which he, co- he obviously could have he, he brought him because he was about to fall off the building he brought him back up and he decided to share his last moments with him instead yeah and so like he basically just uh shared like he just basically went on about how he's has all these different memories all these different things he's seen and how he's gonna die and his memories are gonna be lost and it'll be lost like tears and rain and it's like raining i don't know it's just like oh it's so cool and you know what's cool about that he he that was improv he he oh really that wasn't like scripted that was all him and it's like one of the most iconic lines in sci-fi history yeah I kind of monologues. Yeah, the first one's great too. I, I love the. Yeah. I love both of them. I need to rewatch the first one more. I've seen it in like twice, three I've times s- maybe. I've seen it uh, twice. Yeah. I, I really wish so. I like found it when I was like younger. Yeah, yeah. And I like, didn't watch it when I was younger either. I only watched it four years ago before Blade Runner twenty forty nine came out because I wanted context. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, I feel like if I watched it like. I don't know, like 2015 or before that when I was a little bit younger. Yeah, but like not like too middle, young. To like yeah, like middle school. It. Like if I was in middle school and I watched it, I think it would have yeah. blew me away. <laughs> yeah. It's like, whoa, this is crazy. Because I, I love like dystopian, futuristic cities. It's just yeah. a cool setting. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, I think the, the first one like really reminded me. I'm, I'm sure like... It, Ghost in the Shell, you know, like I'm sure, like Ghost in the Shell is actually like kind of inspired my Blade Runner a little bit. But oh yeah, it gave me like that <laughs> similar feeling. Shut up. Ghost in the Shell is great too. I like Ghost. Yeah. In the Shell. Anyways, that's yeah. Blade Runner 2049 is my I'd, in my top three. I'd say. All right, the big moment, Ethan. What uh, is your favorite movie? Of all all time? right, you can't take it back. It's, this is probably one that Hayne would get would have guessed, but it's my favorite fictional character of all time. I've named him after him. Uh, I've named him. <laughs> I've named my Minecraft account after him. It is the original Godzilla from 1954. I picked this because what? I think it's the best Godzilla movie. Uh, but I like a lot of the Godzilla movies, but for different reasons. So okay, so. 1954 Godzilla is different because it is it's the first one. It's also the darkest Godzilla movie because the other Godzilla movies he's kind of like just you know he's like oh he's this cool badass big monster running around destroying buildings fighting other monsters. It's like fun monster movies. the The first movie from 1954, it's 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 not it's it's a monster movie yes, but it's also kind of like a natural disaster movie. Uh, there's like scenes where there's just like these scenes where pe- there's like there's like hospitals like rushing to get everyone inside to you know all the injured people inside there's this scene where um i think i if i remember correctly these kids were trapped under rubble and it's on fire 
and the the mom's telling the kids that it's it'll be okay that they're gonna see their father soon basically telling them that they're gonna die huh. while they're burning to death that's fucked and so and godzilla is also not in the movie that much but when he's in the, when he is in the movie he really is just like a force of nature he's walking around buildings are getting destroyed people are getting hurt it's like just something they can't stop and so well they do stop him eventually but the whole point of the movie is that <laughs> the whole metaphor of Godzilla is because so 1954 was like 10 years after the bombing of Hiroshima if I'm correct when when did the bombing of Hiroshima happen 45 45 am I wrong I could be totally I'm not even I don't know why I answered that I'm terrible at history yeah I don't hold know on. you just threw I it out yeah, there I don't know <laughs> wait hold on I don't remember shit we have the internet. Yeah, forty. Wait, you're a genius. It was forty five. Woohoo! All right. Holy crap, Hayne. So Godzilla came out in nineteen fifty four. Godzilla is a metaphor for 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 Hiroshima. I didn't, I didn't realize how close those two events yes. happened. The the movie was made purely out of um, the Japan still being affected by what huh. had happened. I didn't know that. Actually. That's that's why the movie presents everything in such a dark and realistic way. And like, you know, that it's kind of like an allegory for nukes as well. Like, oh, if you don't stop nuking, you're going to create this giant monster that's going to come and kill everyone. And so, that's why cuz the first, I think that's why I think the first Godzilla is just genius. It's also just yeah, he's he's also one of the most iconic monsters ever. Yeah. And you know, I, I, I love the first one. I think it's still the best. The only movie that's come close to being as dark as the 1954 Godzilla is Shin Godzilla, which was made by the Neon Genesis Evangelion guy. I'm pretty sure. Oh, really? Why is his name slipping my brain right now? I can't remember his name off the top of my head. That movie was great, too. That's a dark movie as well. That one gets more into the, like, the politics between... Japan and everyone, everyone else. I like that movie. It's Hideaki Anno is the director. Yeah. If you're ever going to watch a Godzilla movie, I suggest you watch that one. Or 1954. But if you don't really feel like watching an old, old black only... and white movie, <laughs> then you can watch Shin Godzilla. Yeah. The only Godzilla movie I've seen is, I think it's like Godzilla vs. All Monsters or whatever that one is. <laughs> all Monsters, like... All Out Attack? Or... No, it's like the one where there's like King Caesar's in it, and then oh. there's like a woman who sings a stupid ass song. The for Mecha him. Godzilla one, yeah, yeah. Oh that's yeah, a... Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's, that's a that wacky one. one. I think it was terrible. Mecha one's... Godzilla. It was so funny when that's that a... one, she was like King Caesar, and then this fucking dog busts out of the mountain and gets shit on by Godzilla. Godzilla yeah. is the Godzilla as a franchise has changed so much. There's so many different like styles in the Godzilla franchise. Like the first one's like dark. Then you have like those those silly Godzilla movies, and yeah. like, and then you have like the weird experimental children film Godzilla movies, like Son of Godzilla, where like Godzilla's like a dad and he's got a son and he's teaching him how to be like a proper <laughs> Godzilla. And like and then you got blockbuster Godzilla, like the the new American. Godzilla movies. I've seen that one, 2014. I have a poster. Is that the only one you've seen? <laughs> yeah. So, I kind of want to watch the first one now that you like talked about it. That sounds like kind of interesting I mean, about how kind of cool. How like uh, I didn't know Godzilla was based off of like the the bombing in Hiroshima. Yeah, that is why. That's why Godzilla is like very important to Japan. Because I didn't realize that. I'm pretty sure they have like an official statue somewhere in Japan. But like yeah, Godzilla is like kind of like the heart of Japan. He was created purely because of what had happened to them, so that's why I love that movie. All right, what's your guys' just shitty shitty movie? My favorite movie is probably Parasite. Um, it's a perfect movie. No, uh, okay. too new, no. too new, too new. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just doing a bit. I'm doing a bit. Parasite's squid good, game. but not hey, my favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, Squid Game. Squid Game. Squid Game movie. <laughs> yeah, Squid Game's my favorite movie. Yeah, I just watched it all in one sitting, so it's basically a movie. Yeah, yeah I yeah, love Squid Game. Yeah, fuck Breaking Bad. Squid Game is Squid Game's amazing. It's the best TV show ever. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait for season two. Woo! Um, 
my favorite movie i'm very for i'd like to say i'm very bad at picking my favorite movies so i'm starting to not trust my own list but for now my favorite movie is eternal sunshine of the spotless mind okay i thought we were about to say eternals yeah i heard movie. yeah eternals yeah, eternals. yeah my, eternals. my ears shocked up when i heard eternals <laughs> is that the is that the one with jim carrey yeah I haven't seen that, but isn't that like one of his like uh, serious roles? Yeah, it is. It's um, it's a Charlie Kaufman movie. Oh, um, Charlie, yeah, Charlie yeah. Kaufman. Co- is it Kaufman? Is, is it Kaufman or Kaufman Kaufman? Ah, oh, who cares? I haven't seen a Dang. single one of his movies, but I've heard his movies really are great, dude. Yeah, I I am like a real sucker. Oh wait, for mind bending stuff. I've seen. I'm thinking what of many he things. He did that, right? Yeah, that was him. I've seen that. Okay. Yeah. That movie's one of his that's one of his wackier ones. That's a weird movie. Compared I liked to it, compared but... to Eternal Sunshine, it's very weird. Yeah. yeah. Um Eternal Sunshine, I guess I'm a sucker for like very mind bending <laughs> plots and like <laughs> honestly also a sucker for romance movies. And it just does both <laughs> of those things like really, really well. And just like the way like it's depicted like going through the mind of like somebody super important to you and like shit's crumbling around you. It's just so like, it's super good. I love that movie. And Jim Carrey does a great job, right? Yeah. He does an incredible job. What's interesting about that one is it's like, he's like known for like silly, wacky roles. Jim Carrey's like the wacky guy. (laughs) Yeah. There's still a little bit of that in there because it's it's Jim Carrey. It's his face. Yeah. He moves his face funny the entire, like whenever he does anything in real life, I assume. So, but like, it's still, it's, it's like less goofy than, I'd say it's like equal with, what's that one movie with the, why am I forgetting movie names? <coughs> uh, With the big old dome that he's living in and the Truman, Truman Show. Show. Yeah. Oh, Truman the Truman Show. Show. Yeah, it's like he's about too. as serious as he is in Truman Show, which is also a great movie. Yeah, that's a good... Wait, you, Hayne, you've seen that, right? Yeah. That's yeah. a good movie. <coughs> <coughs> Made me paranoid. Yeah, the Truman Show is actually pretty clever with its uh, message. But anyways, what's your f- favorite movie of all time, Hayne? Is it, you got a friend in me? No, I didn't or, is it, or is it... Do the Mario, swing your arms from side to side. Yeah. Come on, it's time yeah, to go can, do the Mario. You, to, you can say the Mario movie that's coming out next year. <laughs> or you can say the Mario movie from the 80s. That has nothing to do with the Marios. I'm going to say neither of those because I have not seen either of them yet. Yeah, I haven't seen but, the new Mario either. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for it though. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm uh, seeing that day one. Yeah, I'm gonna camp outside my movie theater for that one. Yep. Can see piece. that in IMAX. <laughs> 3D. Yeah. Nice. Mario's nose is popping out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my favorite movie is um, I'm just gonna say House Moving Castle. Yeah, there we go. City of Ghibli. That's a great movie. Yeah. Do you want to explain why? The like, only one I haven't Studio, seen. Studio Ghibli is like. I don't that was know, kind of. Like, is that like. Was that like hard? Like, what is it like, like? How does it compare to other Ghibli movies to you? That one's easily my top one. Okay. Like, they're all like really nostalgic to me because, like, I don't know. I think I had. We had the. Um, the DVD combo set with all the fucking <laughs> movies on them. So I watched a lot of them as a kid. I watched uh, My Neighbor Totoro probably the most. Cause my sister liked that yeah. movie a lot. I really liked that movie too. But um, I don't know. House Ponyo. of the Castle just made like what's that? Ponyo. Ponyo. Yeah, I like Ponyo too. I don't know. House of the Castle just made me like feel like a certain way. Like even as a kid, like I don't know how to explain it. But like it was there. It was weirdly. It's like weirdly sad. The movie's like I don't know. It's like a kind of a sad movie. Like a melancholy. Like I felt, felt kind of melancholy. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's like the music is incredible. The animation. I love the world. I love kind of like steampunky kind of like things, and that's what like the castle kind of reminded me of. Um, I don't know. I just I like the castle literally. is so fucking cool. I know it's so cool. 
I love how like mysterious everything is. I love how I love like the main character. I love like this. I don't know. It's just such a, it's such a, like a that little fire yeah. guy. That guy's cool. Yeah, I love that guy. That one scene where he's making eggs and pan uh, eggs and a uh, bacon always made me really hungry for. Oh yeah. Breakfast. Oh, food. Ghibli food. It's just like. Yeah. Oh, it's I just want to jump in there and eat it. Yeah. Let me in there. Let me eat that burger. Oh, but uh. <laughs> But yeah, if I if you looked at my like top ten movie list, I like I think a lot of my like like Studio Ghibli stuff would be in it. Yeah, I mean I hate to put them because it's kind of boring. But like that was like I guess that's like my Disney. That was like my. That well, was like my childhood. Ghibli movies show how incredible a two D movie can look. That is true. Yeah. Like you can yeah. never top, uh, a like a two D movie of that scale, with a like a three D movie. And that shows because yeah. like didn't Ghibli re- didn't Ghibli re- release like a 3D movie recently and then like kind of looks like shit. I don't even. I think I, they did. I, I don't know. Like it. Re- Ear, I think it was like Earwake. 2016 or something. They no, it was like called it was like called Earwig and the Witch or something. It was on HBO Max. I'm looking at images right now and it looks <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at the oh animation. God. It looks so like. I don't know. It doesn't look. You just Why do they can't do replicate that? the style. I mean, I don't think it was the. It wasn't like they just like make movies, right? It's so like fucking monsters now. House. Yeah, I don't know why they made it. It didn't. It didn't benefit <laughs> from uh, being 3D either. Usually, like if you're gonna do something in 3D, you gotta do something that you can't do in 2D, really. Yeah. Like 3D, they, like they did something that you easily could have done in 2D. But I mean, I guess they're also you know cheaper. Yeah, sure. that, that's a, that's the only reason. But like Ghibli is like known for like their like how beautiful like their movies are, and you just can't do that with like a three. Oh my god, it has a thirty percent Rotten Tomatoes. Dang, really? Yeah, that is bad. What? <laughs> that's, I didn't know it was that bad. bad. That is, yeah, that's. I mean, it looks yeah. awful. <laughs> it's got a four point seven out of ten on IMDb. <laughs> it's wow. sad. What the hell? That is sad. Well, isn't he work- Miyazaki working on one more movie? He's doing what? Isn't he working on one more movie? I don't know. Two D. Is he really? I hope I so. think so. I I, I I I remember hearing something about that. He's like working on his last movie, and this will be the grand finale. What are you guys' <laughs> favorite like Ghibli movies? Mine would have to be Spirited Away. Yeah, um, so boring. Well, I mean, it's got. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite then, huh, fucker? Yeah, yeah Ponyo. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, Princess Mono, okay. Actually, Proco is good. Oh wait, oh no. Get shit okay. on. Nope, you too late. Oh, you're the no. away guy. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> no like, shit. You, no, you like piggy oh, parents? So you fucking split. loser. Oh my god, what are you gonna pick, Tartar or next? Fuck you. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm sticking with Spirited Away. Spirited Away is great. Spirited, no, Spirited Away is actually great. I'm just, I'm fucking with you. It's actually an incredible movie. Yeah, the cat yeah, returns. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> have you seen that? I haven't seen that. No, I have not seen it. Where's where did when did the cat come first? And where's um, the cat? I think the cat like shows up in uh, Whisper of the Heart. I, I have seen, seen that, that one. Oh, snap. He's not even like a character. He's like a. He's just like this, like I think, like glass. He's like this stat, like little glass doll. I don't even know what it is. Oh, and he and he comes. And to he life? just gets his own movie. <laughs> no, he doesn't come to life ever in the movie. But I guess he's, he's just there. And then they're like, "Ooh, someone was watching." I don't movie. know. Like, Let's make a movie about that little cat <laughs> statue. I think he comes to life in like a dream. Maybe I don't remember. Steven watch that movie with me. <laughs> Steven Whis- watched that movie. Whisper of the Heart. Yeah, he wanted to. It's like a hell? romance. <laughs> it's a romance anime movie. <laughs> Steven, what are you, a pussy? <laughs> hey. I think he... Hey, wait. I, said, I literally just said I'm a sucker for romance movies. Am I a pussy? Yeah. Well, no. He, oh, man. <laughs> he, I think he saw, like, the, the low... He, like, w- like listened to, like, lo-fi hip-hop. Oh. And that girl was, like, on, like, the... Yeah. The lo-fi Oh, I've seen dude, wait. That. Is she the studying girl? Is that what yeah. the, what it's from? Uh-huh. Wow. 
I want to watch that movie now. It's a good movie. I like that. The one a Studying lot. Girl. It's movie. not. It's not Miyazaki, but it is. It is Ghibli. I mean, there's. I, what did you guys think of Castle? Uh, Castle in the Sky. I like Castle in the Sky. Yeah, I like that one too. I like the. That robots. one's kind of. That one's kind of fucked up at the end, where like a ton of people just fall. Yeah. <laughs> like they're dead. Yeah. Dude, I I like the. Oh my god, I thought I, like I like the um. What are those called? The flying machine things that they have? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Those are so cool. Uh, that movie... Oh, that movie's like my... I don't even know. That, that movie used to be my favorite like Ghibli movie for a while. Yeah, it's up there. I like that one. What I was looking on HBO Max, and they have... um, What's it called? Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind on yeah. there? But that's not technically a Ghibli movie, is it? It is, I think. Is it? I don't think it's Miyazaki. It might not be Miyazaki, but it's... Oh. I think it is. It's really, it's pretty old. I'm, that movie is like kind of underrated. Yeah, no, I, don't it, hear a lot is, of people, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I remember liking it. I was like, oh wow, this is cool. It is. It is by Miyazaki actually. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. Hey, have you guys seen that one? I've seen it. Yeah. Not. No. That one's yeah. It's really different. What's that one with? There's the, a lot of Ghibli movies I need to watch. To, isn't there another movie with a witch? Uh, what was it called? <laughs> um. Kiki's Delivery Service. Yeah, um, I've seen that away. too. I was kind of bored of yeah. Kiki's Delivery Service. Kiki's, Kiki's it, Delivery Service. I wish I were a girl. I feel like that movie applies. <laughs> there is like, you know what I mean? I feel yeah. like whenever yeah, you, I talk girl, to girls, they're like, "I love Kiki's Delivery Service," and I'm like, "Man, I wish I saw the same thing that you did." Yeah, yeah. I'd like that. Movie. And like, it's a solid movie. Yeah, it's a good it's movie, like, but like, for I, me, it's just like so whatever. I don't know, like, for, for me, it's but like, I, oh, I want to see robots and, like, flying cool shit. I like just, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I it's mean, different. I enjoy Kiki's Delivery Service, it, and yeah. it's a beautiful movie, but I feel like yeah, I feel like there's something well. inherently in it that just, like, really resonates with women, which yeah. is cool. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. good. Yeah. Less, dude, there needs to be less man movie. True. More woman movie. But yeah, um, I really also I also really like Princess Mononoke. I think that would be my second favorite. That's the because that's that one's pretty dark. I like yeah, that one a that lot. It's kind of nuts. It's yeah. so it just feels the like an epic. so nuts. Yeah, it just feels like yeah. a the story of a of like a old like folk tale and shit. And then like they kill God and sh- and then like it's just destroying the entire valley. And everything is just like some disgusting ooze everywhere, and you're just like, "Holy crap!" I remember when um, me, Hayne, and Steven were watching it, and like they didn't tell me that it was it was kind of like a they didn't tell me it was like a more mature Ghibli movie. And so like we were watching it, and there was that scene where she's uh, riding the horse, and she draws her bow and arrow, and or no, it wasn't the girl. It was uh, it was him. It was the it dude. Was... Yeah, and he shot that dude's head off. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Whoa, what the whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect Dude, that, that at all. It was so awesome. He just shoots people's arms off and shit. Yeah. I mean, even the, even the beginning was kind of kind of dark, like that. Kind of gruesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it just like comes in hot. And you're just like, oh man, all right, we're in it. We let's go. Have you guys yeah. seen um, Arietti? Oh, I have. I have seen it. Oh really? Yeah. What do you think about that? Uh. It's okay. <laughs> it's yeah it's okay it's um, like a disney movie it, it is a disney movie isn't it because oh, it? it's isn't it like when disney bought ghibli oh. when that came out or was that ponyo i don't know Man, but... f ponyo ponyo is actually bad what whoa i mean ponyo yeah, ponyo sucks there's no plot yeah, but it's, and so stupid it's but it's like it's so cool, cool. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> That being said, it's beautiful. All the shots are beautiful. I just can't get over the fact that there's no story. That's true. Yeah, there really is. There's much like going nothing on. important happens, and then like two kids get married. I was, guess. Yeah. And then it's over. Yeah. Wasn't that? Wasn't the dad looking for them? Looking Something? for her. Yeah. I, don't know. It's, it's I like so... Ponyo. There's like, like a lot of like interesting like things going on. Yeah, the I mean, there's always interesting eye candy going on. I guess something. It may just be I expect a plot from a lot of movies, and then I'm just like, where the plot? What is? Why is the point? But I guess the point part of that 
part of Studio Ghibli's point is like the beauty of everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, but back Ponyo to Ariadne, is definitely Ariadne, one though. of my least favorites. Yeah, go for Ariadne, sorry. Uh it was like it's I like the idea a lot. I think it's cool, but that just like kind of like Ponya, there's not a whole lot going on in the story. Yeah. But I just thought it's very visually um, appealing. I just I just wasn't that interested in that movie. Also that movie, like I watched it like not as a kid, so like, I didn't really like I yeah. have any emotional attachment to it. So I think I watched that this year. Like some some really? for this year. Yeah. It was alright, yeah. It's not bad. Apparently was... Tom Holland is in the cast, I guess. Tom I Holland? Even... Yeah. Is he the kid? I don't know. <laughs> I remember in Ponyo, in the English dub, Liam Neeson was the, the father. So that was huh. weird. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, did you want to talk about that? That, uh, <laughs> that Taco oh. Bell. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks what like a, we're coming up on time. Transition. Yeah. It looks like we're coming up on time here. So now we're going to talk about. The Taco Bell grilled cheese the, burrito. The topic you've all been waiting for. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So what is in it? I'm looking it up right now because I ate it and there's like a lot of shit. There's a lot of stuff in it. So there's like, I got, okay. So I got the double steak grilled cheese burrito and okay. there's steak, nacho cheese sauce, sour cream, chipotle sauce. Oh, yeah. so there's a lot of like sauce in it. And then, okay, but like, yeah. it didn't feel like a lot of sauce, but there was like, I guess a variety of sauce, but, um, there was rice and then like they had these like red, like chip things in it. I don't even know. <laughs> it was, I'm looking on the website. So they're called red strips. I don't know. And then they had like cheese, obviously like on the outside and yeah, it was, it was all right. Wait, cheese on the outside. Yeah. They had like, like cheese, like melted on the outside, like like so cooked. oh and do you hold it with like a wrapper or are you yeah, just holding no it's not like there, it wasn't like gooey it was like it was like um like grilled cheese <laughs> so like oh, it's kind of greasy okay. but yeah was that sounds kind of rancid was it good it was okay i, I mean it wasn't bad <laughs> i would buy it again hmm. yeah and well, well, that's there you go. the scoop. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the croup scoop. Well, there you go. We recommend the grilled cheese burrito. Because me and Jeffrey have definitely tried it. That's why I was asking about the details. I just wanted to make sure we got the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I got the same thing, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I don't <laughs> even think I went to Taco Bell. Did I go to Del Taco? <laughs> I think you went to Wendy's. Yeah, oh, I yeah. did. How the hell did I get a burrito from Wendy's? Huh. Hmm. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of we're kind of bad at endings here. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, that's, that's the scoop. The scoop. That's the scoop. Yeah. Uh, that's the scoop. We'll see you guys see next you week. See you guys next week. Yep. Bye. <laughs>